right, YouTube. So, hey, uh, what we are doing today is um, going to be a three-part series. Uh, we're going to make some brush piles. So, today we're going to make the piles. And then uh, probably tomorrow, the next day, I'm going to go drop in the lake. And I'll take you all with me when I do that. I'm not going to show you where they are. Um, <clears throat> I'm not even sure what lake I'm going to put them in yet. But I'm going to do a whole bunch of these. But uh, right now, I'm just kind of doing a test and uh, then we'll go back a few days later and fish it and uh, just see how long it takes to get fish out there and so I'm probably gonna wind up doing I'll just tell you two lakes uh, get enough for that so uh, what we're doing right now I've only got two so I'll kind of show you what I did last night um, kind of got the process started got a few more holes to drill <clears throat> but went ahead and drilled the holes I'm gonna do some more down here went ahead and put in concrete so um, we're, we're pretty good. I ran a beam right through the bottom of this so it can't be pulled up. And uh, then I've cut a bunch of these, which is just, uh, oh, what is this, irrigation line. So we'll just push these in here and make a big tree, basically. So the good thing with this, I don't think I'm going to be stuck. Uh, it's going to be hard to get hung uh, with this. I could be wrong, but we'll find out. Anyway, I'm gonna take you along for the ride. So basically I'm just cutting these things um, decent length, trying to make it like a tree. And uh, then we're gonna throw them in a boat and throw them out. So we'll see what happens. Um, all right, let's get to cutting. All right, guys, so <clears throat> here's going to be prototype number one. You can see it. So just basically got stuff in here. I'll go ahead and secure this to where it's going to come out. Because right now it rocks all over the place. But uh, should give a good little brush pile. I'm going to go to Lowe's here in a minute, get some more items that I'm going to use for the second set of brush piles and see what happens. So I'll do two of these and I'll do two of another one. These I'm going to wind up having to run a rope in here to get them down to make sure they stay i'm also going to put a bottle right here to where it will stay straight up so uh you know once the once it's down there I'm not worried about the bottom or the bottle it will sink in and but the bottle will hold uh hold it straight up in the air so uh, that should give us a little little protection from falling sideways so anyway we'll see what happens guys y'all stay with me all right, guys, so here is the second one I'm making. So uh, basically what I did, I just cut a piece off of this, put this in here. I'll glue it all in in a minute, but put that in there. Throw one here. It's going to be a big one. Put that there. Here. Oh, I left. No, that's the wrong one. Okay. Well, heck, I put. I'll take that off in a minute. But so this is what I'm gonna do. So this is gonna be the next one if you can see it all. What I'll do is I'll fill these bottom, probably to right in there with concrete. Those three legs. And that's what these end pieces are for here here and there Let's put it on the wrong one but i'll move that in a minute so we'll fill it with concrete to about right here give it some weight and i'll drill some holes in here again put some more of these cut in half coming through here like this so it gives a little more brush to them you know fill it all around there if i want to i can throw another one here Bring it out farther, put more, which I may do. Uh, at this point, I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna get out of my backyard. 
I put it all together, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens, and uh, I'll show the video when we get completed. I am going to glue these in and make it happen, so uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Get this all mixed up real good. Hmm. Hmm. It's gonna be a little bit harder to do than I thought it would. All right, so now I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit. Oh, about a day. So you see them right here, I got them stuck up. Uh, they're full. Uh, we'll drill holes in them later. Um, probably a whole bunch of holes, to be honest with you. That way we can uh, possibly get bait fish in there uh, to help it sink, because it will take on water instead of holding air. And uh, then we'll go ahead and put our lines through there and uh, try to get this thing completed. So uh, I'll be back when it's, when it's done. All right, guys, so here's what uh, I have so far. We've got a little bit more to do. It's taking me three days because of weather. Uh, family, just a whole bunch of stuff. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to put this video out tonight, and then we'll finish the rest of it uh, for the next episode. And once I find out if I can drop them in the lake, then we'll show you that as well. But so here we go. So this is the – I still got to cut some more here out of this. Cut some more for, for these, but it will look similar to that. Then here's the other pole. So you can see I've started putting putting pipe in here. So my cement is coming all the way up to here on all these. You can see I tried to drill in there, and it's full of cement. So that's that's all cement legs. I'm gonna put one more pipe coming out here, and one more here, and interwind these things in between them all. So I will try and throw a picture out there for the next uh, the next video to see the final result. But once again, I can't put, until I drop these, I can't put all these other pieces on. This is going to come off here soon so I can transport it. But once, it, once we get it to where we're going to go and drop it, all that will be in there. So there's no way to do a picture of it now because I have to take the whole thing apart. But um, so basically, yeah, that's it. That's our, our brush piles. Uh, going to make more eventually. But uh, right now, I just want to do some just to check it out, see what happens and uh, go from there so hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and uh, please leave any suggestions you have out there thanks guys hey guys Chris is sleeping the real I got Jeremy Stovall with me today and crappie condos so this is the second part of me making them we're actually getting to drop them in thanks to Jeremy we got permission to do this today um, so we're gonna go find a spot drop them in GPS it you can't see it but I'll know where it is and then we'll go fish it later so uh, y'all hang in there with us beautiful morning like two mile an hour winds today so uh, it's pretty but it's gonna be hot anyway y'all stay tuned
direction either. It's still going down. There, look up there. Okay, it's on the bottom. Okay, let's hold on to it for a second. Um, go ahead and pull a little bit up on yours, just get some slack. And then step back here for a second. Bottom. Let's look at it. Oh, yeah, it is all the air. Oh, yeah, it is it because all the air. Sweet. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. So, wait, no flip around. Yeah. Let's turn this thing. Let's turn this thing. Turn sideways. Yeah, just right. Uh, All right. One more. Stay together. It's going to be good. This thing will. Hang on. Let me get under your foot real quick. <clears throat> I can get these two if you can get that one. Okay. And we'll just say drop it over on this side. Alright guys, so we got the uh, brush piles in, um, 
everything went well got them all put together got them dropped look on a live scope i got some footage of it i mean right after we dropped it you see a bunch of air bubbles but guess what you see fish those fish are curious they're down there looking see trying to see what it was but uh um, anyway so guys this is how you how i do a brush pile uh we'll do one more series on it we're gonna go fish it when i get back i'm gonna be gone for a week for that alligator hunt then we're gonna go fish that thing come back and uh see what happens but anyway thanks for watching appreciate it y'all have a good day mm -hmm.